Hi, welcome back. We are continuing with the Raspberry Pi, and we're going to try to install a local AI on our Raspberry Pi. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and get started. First step is we're going to go over to olama.com slash download. Now, it gives us for Linux, because we are running Linux on our Raspberry Pi, it gives us a nice little command that we can just type into the Pi there with the curl dash F SSL, HTTPS, etc. And we can use that command on our Pi to download our, our model. Now, actually, it's to do download Olama. Now, when we do this, you may notice that curl is not installed in the Debian image by default. So we'll need to app get install curl. After we do that, then we can go through and grab the Olama image. And this is the Olama software that allows us to run large language models. So it's running in the background. It is working quite well. Okay, now let's go ahead and run that command again and see how that works. Okay, it's taking its sweet old time there, so we're going to let that download, and we're going to fast forward just a little bit to allow that curl to occur. Okay, now here we are. We have downloaded Olama. Now, most of the large language models are going to be too big for a Raspberry Pi 3B+. It only has one gig of RAM on the device, and that's not enough to really run anything substantial. However, there is a tiny llama here. Let me go ahead and start that. And we can look at tiny llama. Oh, well, there we go. Um, <laughs> to get the tiny llama, let's go ahead and look at the command here. So that's o llama run tiny llama. So if you see it right here in the screen, o llama run tiny llama. Now it happened pretty fast. It only took me about a minute to download Tiny Llama, and then it takes about a minute to uh, respond here. So uh, when you go through here for this response, I just typed hello, and it says, hey, welcome to our humble online shop. Now we can change these to a number of different, different things here, but that gets our AI model up and running. So if we go through and clear this and type slash buy and uh, open this up again, we can see what it looks like. Okay, this time I'll capture the, the actual screenshot here. So we'll do o llama run tiny llama. So press enter on that. It's going to take, oh, I don't know, probably about 40 seconds or so to get started. So we'll pause during that. Actually, it started right up. That's great. It uh, might take a little bit longer to respond. So let's go ahead and we'll say, um, let's see. What is today? We're going to ask some questions that it probably may not be fully aware of the answer, but um, it will be maybe entertaining or informative to see what it responds and how long it takes to respond. So right now we're looking at about 10 seconds on response, and it could take up to a minute or more for a response here on the Pi. Well, that's actually not too bad. Um, it's coming back. Today is Saturday, July 16th, 2021. And uh, it's not, <laughs> but there you go. We did get a response on that. So we can go through and look at the settings and that slash question there for help. So let's go through and do that. Let's slash question. And we can do a slash show and we can type the template here to see the template. We can do a show system to see what the system says. And we can change this here. So if you want to set that, you can set system and say like uh, are a uh, helpful and encouraging friend right there. So we can type that in like that. And that is the new system message for this. So now if we go back and we type uh, uh, hello, We'll see how long that takes to respond. It probably takes about 30 seconds, but we'll see. Okay, it's a name here. <laughs> how have you been? I've been doing well, period. Have you had 
a good day. So, this is uh, good day so far. It's actually kind of answering its own prompts. So there we've got the, the system, user prompt assistant. And it is very wordy. So this is definitely filling in some text. But this gives you an example. It only took about 35 seconds for the, uh, the message to return on my system. If you get the uh, Raspberry Pi overclocked, so beyond performance, but actually overclock the Pi, you may get better performance than this. So uh, in this case, it is very conversational. And hopefully, this is something that you can build off of and uh, create some new solutions for future LLMs or uh, play with some prompts, play with some templates, and see where you can go. I hope that this has been informative and helpful, and I look forward to talking to you next time.